Okay, here's another FYE video. And, um, you know, I go in there every once in a while and I get down to my local mall, down at the Walk Mall. And, you know, I'm a little, I'm very disappointed because basically for the last, since before the pandemic or during it, I don't know exactly when they did it because I didn't go for a really long time. They converted everything into candy, Funko Pop, and that's it. They do have a great variety of movies. They, they have the most movies of any store on the mall. Not even close. Places like the Toy Vault don't sell any movies. You'd think they would sell a few. And they sell every other thing that's retro. But um, i just like to say that the, the FYE store still has much of a purpose. The problem is no one's paying attention to it anymore. And it's going to fall right down the shithole. It's going to suck because... I went to a one in Florida. I used to. It was huge. It was so big. It, it, I couldn't believe how big it was. And it was dedicated to movies and everything else it did. That's when I watched The Shield on DVD. Now, they have it on Blu ray right now, but it's Mill Creek. I will not buy a Mill, Mill Creek product ever again because Mill Creek gives you garbage for everything you buy. So I'd rather just take the regular DVD quality. And believe me, it's. You're someone that can appreciate movies. You might agree with me. Um, what other things can I do for the FYE store? Um, I, well, I'm going to give it a prediction of when it's going to go completely under. I'd say five to ten years. And that's a little grim, what people might think. But how does it survive right now is beyond me. It, it has so much competition. And they're selling things for so much cheaper. And sometimes the exact same items. And, and like if you go to buy a vinyl or something inside of FYE, you're paying a lot more money than if you go anywhere else. Just like Bonds and Noble, I don't know how they survive. Um, if but if FYE wants to survive, they're gonna have to lower their prices, especially on a lot of their movies and stuff they have. Lower it to a price where it's only a few dollars more than the competition. Because you're not going to make any money doing the way you do it now. Um, I just like to say this. It's not going to happen. I love. I would love to see something big happen. Where we could. Um, we could. See them revive themselves. But I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. Um, everything I see that's on the stickers for prices. Is ridiculous. Um, I'm not. You really can't compare eBay, but I'll do it for this one. ER, the complete series I bought on eBay for the hundred. It was between a hundred and and a hundred and fifty dollars, and they want like a hundred and ninety, two hundred bucks for the show, which is ridiculous. And it wasn't a bootleg because I looked at the quality of all the DVDs, and I I watched the whole series, so I would know. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna. I don't know what's gonna. I really don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know who's in charge, who's the CEO of the company. I bought from them twice online. I bought back to the Titanic vinyl from them, which is an unboxing online if you want to watch it. And I bought Person of Interest from them because it was a used copy and it was a reasonable price compared to everything else. But I gotta say, um, I I don't understand how a company can survive with having prices like two, three, four times the price of everything else. I like FYE though. There's a difference between this and maybe other comp. Um, what's another company? I, I like Bonds and Noble. The difference between this and Bonds and Noble is I'll never buy a movie from Bonds and Noble again because they're just outrageous. I can't believe I talked myself. In one of these seasons of Walker I bought from them. I bought this whole IMAX DVD collection from them. I'll never do it again. I, I feel so stupid because, you know, I could have probably paid at least 30-40% less anywhere else. Well, good luck with everybody. Um, we'll see what happens, but I give it a 5-10 to 10 year time frame. Bye-bye.